Congratulations to the 2023 Advocacy in Action Award recipients in the category of Student Recruitment, Engagement, and Retention. Achievement in this category recognizes exceptional strategies for student recruitment, engagement, and retention that demonstrate a commitment to building and sustaining a high-quality school music program. Please join us in congratulating our 2023 Student Recruitment, Engagement, and Retention Award recipients. The Capistrano Valley High School Instrumental Music from San Juan Capistrano, California. The Colombiana Middle School Band from Columbiana, Alabama. The Pride of Princeton Marching Band from Cincinnati, Ohio. Princeton City Schools from Cincinnati, Ohio. And the Rouse High School Band from Rouse, Texas. We would also like to recognize and celebrate our 2023 Student Recruitment, Engagement, and Retention Honorable Mention recipient, the North Jefferson Middle School Band from Kimberly, Alabama. Visit advocacy.musicforall.org to get inspired with ideas from these award-winning programs and to see all of the 2023 Advocacy in Action Award recipients. Everybody, Garth Brooks here. And Trisha Yearwood. Saying a big hello and a big thank you and a big keep it going to the music teachers that are teaching music in schools today during the pandemic. My mom was a school teacher, so I have a special place in my heart for you anyway. But we all know how important music is in our lives to keep us sane, especially during this time. So thank you for what you're doing. Amen. And don't forget, it is the most powerful sword for communication. Everybody loves music. Everybody should. It's within us all. So you stay strong and you keep those kids apart. Bring them together through the glorious gift of music. We love you guys. Mindy Patton is the embodiment of above and beyond when it comes to the William Mason High School Marching Band in the greater Mason, Ohio area. When band director Edward Protzman arrived at Mason, he saw just how dedicated Mindy was to ensuring the continued success of the band. Over the years, Mindy arranged travel opportunities for the band, coordinated and implemented medical and mental health programs for the students, planned meals and snacks, secured monetary and in-kind donations, and countless other tasks and responsibilities. She built the Booster Program into a welcoming and professional organization for all who wish to serve the students and staff. Director Protzman says, quote, in my 27 years of teaching, I have not worked with a more devoted, professional, caring, and innovative parent organizer. In 2020, in the midst of COVID-19, Mindy rented out a drive-in movie theater so the kids could have a socially distanced, safe, and fun show reveal. She was integral in planning other COVID safe events like Family Showcase, History Night, and more. Kim Bishop, recording secretary of the 2021 Mason Band Boosters, described Mindy as, quote, an incredible selfless human being with a heart of gold. She devotes endless amounts of time and energy to our program for which I will forever be grateful. 
Please join us in congratulating 2022 recipient of the Patrick John Hughes Parent Booster Award, Mindy Patton. Classroom music education should be accessible to every student in the United States. It's a win, win, win for students, teachers, and system. School music helps develop a broad range of skills and positive character traits. It improves cognition and academic achievement. Students in school music programs have higher grade point averages and higher attendance and graduation rates. Participation in school music transcends socioeconomic levels. It increases decision making, collaboration, creativity, communication, critical thinking, and emotional awareness. The majority of Americans not only strongly support music education, but also say their personal experiences with music education prepare them for their future careers. Music in your schools equals more bang for your educational buck. Music is good for the school system, community, economy, and society. Be heard. Actively support music education and insist that students in your schools have access and opportunity to active music making. Learn more at musicforall.org.
I think that the music for all experience really is in some ways a microcosm of what we would hope for our society and that is people coming from various backgrounds to come together and unite and collaborate toward a very common cause. And sometimes when life is troublesome and you can't pray, a song can often make you feel better and begin to start whatever healing processes that you need to. I believe that music does that. Music just lends to being a diverse medium for communication, for bringing people together. And that's a world that we live in, a world of diversity where acceptance of each other's cultures and music and aesthetic preferences, that's where we are today. We always say um, the music is important. That's ultimately, you know, what we're after, really high level playing and high level understanding and, and depth um, but then behind all of that the basis of everything is the human to human interaction and I feel that when we're having fun when we're loving each other when we're really you know doing everything together the music goes to another level the arts are our soul it's it's our humanity and even in our youth that we feel whatever it is that makes us different um, uh, we, we may not know as a younger human uh, that that is what, is what makes us beautiful and very special. There has to be some things that reach into people's souls and reach into their hearts. And uh, I think that's what the arts offer. I think now, more than ever, music is the most important thing that these young people will get to do because I believe it humanizes them. We're not spending any time talking about who's Republican and who's Democrat. I, there's no doubt that there are kids sitting next to each other that politically completely disagree with each other. And yet, here we are coming together to make this beautiful music that represents something that's way bigger than any of that. And I think that music has maybe not the unique ability to do it, but I think music has the ability to do it um, in a way that might be very difficult to replicate in any other way. Congratulations to the 2023 Advocacy in Action Award recipients in the category of Parent Booster Support. Achievement in this category recognizes exceptional volunteer efforts from parents and boosters and demonstrates a commitment to developing an engaged and supportive network of volunteers for your organization. Please join us in congratulating our 2023 Parent Booster Support Award recipients. The Rouse High School Band from Rouse, Texas. And the Tarpon Springs Leadership Conservatory for the Arts from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Visit advocacy.musicforall.org to get inspired with ideas from these award-winning programs and to see all of the 2023 Advocacy in Action Award recipients. Hi, everyone. My name is Peter Schlosser. I'm a composer for television and video games. I'm here to tell you why I believe music education is pretty vital and why it's been one of the greatest gifts in my life. Before I do that, I want to thank each and every person that has crossed my path because of music. My parents, most of all, for allowing me to pursue it and for encouraging me and fomenting that love. By the time I was 19, I had the fortune of having lived in five different countries, and the one constant was always music. I sang in a few choirs, played piano and saxophone, and ultimately ended up composing. 
this has allowed me to learn so much about different cultures and I'm convinced the musical training was responsible for helping me greatly learn different languages. You know, regardless of whether anyone wants to do music professionally, I encourage everyone to partake in music education in some form or another. You know, it teaches you in a very literal way to play well with others and to connect with people in very meaningful and deep ways. It teaches you to really listen. You know, this reminds me of something I heard when I was in music college at a master class given by the incredible bassist Abe Laboreal. He said, and I paraphrase, the greatest act of love you can show someone is to listen to them. Thanks.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clues Memorial Hall at the Butler Arts Center. Before the performance begins, we would like to remind you of certain procedures to follow in order to ensure the safety and comfort of everyone in the theater. Please take a moment and notice the theater exits. Locate at least two exits closest to your seat. Keep in mind that the closest exit may be behind you. In case of an emergency, please walk calmly through an exit and listen for further instruction. For the comfort of everyone, we remind you that the Butler Arts Center is a smoke-free facility. Additionally, please check to make sure all cell phones, alarms, and other audible devices are turned to the off or silent position. The use of video and audio recording devices is strictly prohibited. Thank you, and enjoy the performance. Good morning, and welcome to Clues Memorial Hall and the 30th Annual Music for All National Festival presented by Yamaha. I'm Carl Grapentine, the voice of the University of Michigan Bands and Michigan Stadium, and it's my pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremonies once again this year. We will begin officially today's performances in just a moment with the Hewitt Trustville High School Wind Ensemble from Trustville, Alabama, back in just a few minutes. We welcome the Hewitt Trustville High School Wind Ensemble from Trustville, Alabama. Their musical selections this morning will include Splendor Through the Skies by John Bubbett, Some Treasures Are Heavy with Human Tears by John Mackey, The Fairest of the Fair by John Philip Sousa, California by David Maslanka, and Un Cafecito by Dennis Yinas. The first piece, Splendor Through the Skies, 
was composed specifically for today's performance at the Music for All National Festival. The students wanted something that would honor the school and community, and so Hewitt Trussville's alma mater, which uses the melody to the hymn, God of Our Fathers, became the basis for the piece. The title comes from the lyrics of the original hymn written by Daniel Roberts in 1876 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. A new melody called National Hymn was written by George Warren, which is the hymn we're all familiar with as God of Our Fathers. Splendor Through the Skies, the first official performance, music of John Bubbitt. Will you welcome, please, the Hewitt Trussville High School Wind Ensemble and conductor, Ms. Shannon Moore. Thank you. 
On August 4, 2019, in Dayton, Ohio, a tragedy occurred in which nine people lost their lives and 17 were injured. One of the victims was a young woman who played trumpet in her high school band in nearby Bellbrook. The Bellbrook program commissioned a piece to commemorate the tragedy. The composer says, I've been asked to write pieces in response to tragedies, but I've rarely felt like it was appropriate. Something about this tragedy happening in Dayton, where I've been many times, and so close to Columbus, where I grew up, that I felt I wanted to say something musically. Fortunately, my spouse found this incredible title, which says so much before the music even starts. The piece isn't trying to sound like what happened, it's trying to convey what it feels like to know that it happened. It's titled, Some Treasures Are Heavy With Human Tears by John Mackey. Once again, the Hewitt Trustville High School Wind Ensemble, led by Shannon Moore.
Thank you.